Hey guys, welcome to another JC LaForge video. Today we're going to be taking a look at MB. Before we continue, my name is JC LaForge and on this channel we cover tech, servers and home lab related stuff. If you like simple and useful tech videos, please subscribe. So, what is MB? In an age dominated by subscription services, algorithmic content curation, MB stands as a powerful alternative that puts you back in control of your media. Unlike cloud-based platforms that locks you into their ecosystems, MB is a self-hosted media server solution that transforms your personal collection into a Netflix-like experience without the monthly fees or privacy concerns. MB allows you to stream your personal media, to access your personal media on multiple devices, to have a centralized library, and also it has some core components that allow you to browse and also fetch metadata from different sources. MB delivers superior playback capabilities with advanced technologies to ensure quality viewing experiences. You have the hardware accelerated transcoding. This is a feature, of course, locked behind a paywall, adaptive bitrate, and HDR tone mapping. So without any further ado, let's install it and set it up and then we'll go through the features from there. So to install MB, it's super easy. All you have to do is go to our website, find their download page. And if you're like me and you're gonna be using Docker, normally Docker should be on the list here. So we're gonna go to Docker here. And in our case, it's going to be MB Server X64 on Docker Hub. And normally this is what you would use to install your MB. Now, from my case, I will be using Casa OS. And from Casa OS, we already have a prepackaged Docker container that we will be using. But if you're using a Docker run, you can copy this or use the Docker Compose file, which is here. So let's go to Casa OS and continue from there. All right, we are now on my Casa OS dashboard. And as you guys can see, everything is running smoothly, hardly using 2% CPU. Now let's go to the App Store. Let's look for MB. And as you guys can see, we have three versions of MB. This one is the one I trust. It's from Linux Server IO. And in my previous videos, I showed you how to add multiple app stores within MB or app sources, if you would. So now we're going to install this. If I had an NVIDIA GPU, I would go with this, but I don't have one. I will be using my Intel integrated graphics that is integrated with my CPU. So we're going to install this. This should take some time. I don't think I need to speed this up now, do I? All right, MB has been installed. And as you guys can see on my Casa OS, I'll go to settings. You'll see that this is actually my Docker Compose that is displayed in a graphical interface where you can actually see everything. And so right now I'm not going to change anything. All we'll have to do later is to add our devices and add our Intel GPU. But for now, we're going to just save. And this is going to say it's starting uh, the installation, but it's just updating the information. All right, now that that's set up, we can see here in the settings that we're going to be running it on this IP, which is the IP of my Casa OS, and on this port. So we have to make sure that this port is free and no other application is using it. I, you guys remember that I had Jellyfin, so we will see, since sometimes Jellyfin also uses the same port, we'll see if this is a conflict. So I clicked on it and nothing happened. We'll go back in and on the port here, we'll just set the port and save. Let's try again. All right. So now we are into the MB setup page. So this should be very quick. So English, United States, user is going to be YouTube. So we'll just put a easy password. Easy passwords are not good for security guys. Uh, remember that. All right. We'll never save that. And libraries, I'll do it later. Uh, do I have to do remote access? 
So this is for you guys to attempt and test out for yourself. For me, I do not wish to do remote access right now. Terms, it's not like you can skip it. I accept the terms. And this is all of the places where you can download MB. So Amazon apps, Google Play, Apple TV, um, Roku, Windows, LG, Smart TV, and whatever this, is it Tizen? I'm not sure. So whatever this icon is. So you can actually have it on multiple, multiple other platforms. Finish. And here we go. So basically right now we can do a manual login, login, which is and the password we set up. And here we go. So we have access to everything here. So what I'm going to do for the sake of time, I'm going to go into the background and do a few things to make sure everything is running smoothly. And don't worry, all of this will have changed by the time you see my video. And then after that, we'll come back to this and I'm going to add some libraries and then we'll, we'll come back to this. See you in a few. So I have discovered that certain features here from the back end requires you to have an MB Premier subscription. And of course, we're going to get this MB Premier subscription. I hope I make this money back from YouTube somehow. And so looks like you can't transcode if you don't have the MB Premier. And also, where was it? There was something else that you couldn't do while you didn't have the MB Premier key. So it doesn't look like there is a trial version of some kind I can use. But I think some feature like backup and restore. So I think this one, you can create like a folder on a different server, map it here, and then back up all of your settings to that folder. But this feature also requires you to have an MB Premier subscription. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that, but other than that, yeah, there is there's some features that you do have to pay for. So it looks like we won't be able to do tone mapping without having that MB Premier subscription. Also, Live TV is behind the Premier subscription. So basically, it's kind of like Plex where some features are behind a subscription. But let's do the whole setup. I'm going to add a few videos. We're going to do the entire setup. And then I'm going to come back when we have something that I can show you. All right. See you like uh, in a few seconds, to be honest. All right, guys, we're back. I figured out a few things. I added a few other things. And now I think we are ready to add our library. So let's go to the settings. And as you guys can see, we do have the Premiere license but we do not need it for the sake of this video and let's go to library and yes of course i do have a few things already set up um let's go to new library content type let's choose movies and then go to folders mine is in slash data and i put it in youtube demo we're going to say okay and we're going to choose the metadata language in our case it's going to be english english please uh, certification country i have no idea image download we're going to do english again and this is the metadata readers um, i'm going to leave that as the default also the metadata downloaders i think the movie dv is better since we're doing movies and i'm gonna leave everything else as default of course for you guys if you are doing this you can experiment with some of these settings um, some of the plugins here do require like an api key so you know checking off things doesn't actually make it work sometimes there you go so we do have our media set up and all of the movies here they are in such a nice quality it tells you what's the quality of the video the audio gets detected we have all of the settings but of course to set all of this up i had to go to the settings and I had to download a few plugins. Cover art was one of them. I had to do a few things to make sure that this was actually working. Metadata, some of these actually already came with the 
with MB already installed, so you already had some of the plugins, but I do believe cover art is a paid feature. So if we go back to MB now, you can see the big back bunny here. It extracts the logo, creates this cover art here, and everything else just works. I can just click here on play, and of course it's going to start playing. And I can use different other um, I can change all of the qualities here. I can transcode and we, let's just duplicate this tab here. I'm going to zoom in for you again. Hopefully you're not hearing this music because if you're hearing this music, that will be terrible. Hopefully you're not hearing any of that. And as we can see, it says here, transcode audio, transcode video. Okay. So the transcode is working now. There is a caveat here. Uh, I couldn't do it on Casa OS as I started with because I couldn't add a hard drive onto here. So normally I would add a hard drive and then use that hard drive as a storage for all of those media files, but that didn't work. And then I wanted to add a different location here, like uh, put the movie somewhere and then connect using SMB. That was super slow. So I, you know, had to go in a, in a different way. So as you guys can see, MB works. I tested it on my Apple TV and that works. I believe that collections, the way the collections work is that it happens automatically. It goes into your movie folders, finds all of the movies that belongs to one collection using TVDB or MovieDB, and then creates that collection for you. So I don't have anything that, you know, can create that. So that's why I don't have anything in there. But if you do have something like that, you will see all of the collections built there for you. So yeah, it's very interesting. And I think now it's conclusion time. All right, so this is some of my findings. It looks like MB of course has superior playback capabilities. We saw that hardware accelerated transcoding is a premier feature that is basically behind a paywall and you have to pay for it. So if you're not interested in that, you probably need to use Jellyfin. Adaptive bitrate streaming, we haven't tested that. Tone mapping, um, that also another feature that is behind the paywall. Uh, multiple format support. I do believe MB supports as many formats as Jellyfin. And I think that MB is superior to Jellyfin, even though MB is a paid product and also closed source, of course. All right, live TV. I haven't tested this, but this is another feature behind the paywall. So if you want to use the live TV, you're going to have to pay for it. You can see that you can record the TV, you have the EPG, and also you can do recording of the seasons and episodes of TV or whatever. So if you're using that, it's, it's a feature similar to Plex. Offline and mobile sync. So this is basically a way for you to download the movies to watch later. And I think this also is a feature that is available within Plex and also Jellyfin, if I'm not mistaken. So you find a season you like, you save it. And then when you're on the plane and you don't have internet, you can still use it as if nothing happened. The cloud sync, I haven't really tested it, but it doesn't look like it's on the cloud type of thing, um, cross device sync, all of this. Uh, of course, it's like Plex where you can have the app on your TV, the client app on your TV, on your phone and in your tablet, and all of them remember where you are. So this actually works and I've tested it on my phone. So this works as well. All right, smart home and customization. The, the voice control works. So if you had an Apple TV and you basically wanted to just speak into the TV show that you want, this works. The third party plugin, it's, there's not a lot of plugins, to be honest, but the ones that are there and that are not paid because some of the plugins are paid. Yes. Um, they're actually quite good and they do add a lot of functionality and they're easy to find. So in Jellyfin, they're scattered around. So some developer has their own plugin. And if you don't know the link to the repo, then you can't add them. But 
the jellyfin ones are actually all collected in one place. There are not many, but the ones that they do have are quality plugins. I didn't test the DLNA support, but I do think that's something that should be easy to do. MB versus Plex versus uh, Jellyfin. So they're both, all of them are self-hosted. And of course, Plex kind of requires you to log in with your, with your Plex uh, information. And of course, Jellyfin is fully open source and you can use all of the features for free. Hardware transcoding on MB, it's behind the paywall. So you do require Premiere and on Plex, you need a Plex pass. So to do hardware transcoding on Plex, you need a Play Pass. But on MB, everything is free. Live TV and DVR. MB, you need a Premiere Pass. And on Plex, you need the Plex Pass. While on Jellyfin, everything is free. All right. Offline Sync, they both can do it. And I don't know if you need the premiere or the plex pass to do it and if you do need to do this then this will be kind of crazy so uh, i'm not 100 percent sure i did this table a few days ago when i was preparing for this video but uh, look into it guys these two not so sure uh privacy this is my favorite actually so we do know that MB does not collect any telemetry, so they say, but since it's a closed source product, you always have to be careful. Flex, the cloud authentication is required, and so use your judgment on that. And Jellyfin, of course, is fully self-hosted, and there is no telemetry. The cost, there are tiers to the uh, cost, so MB starts on at $4.99 and you can go all the way up, I think to 100 and something for the lifetime. And Plex, you have the free for the basic and uh, you then you have $4.99. Uh, don't check me on that guys, because the prices have changed recently for Plex. So go on their website and look for more. Jellyfin of course is free. So when you look at all of this, you can make the choice easily for you and your media all right let's go to the next slide and of course this all failed and there is no reason to look at this slide is it worth it this is the pricing as of now it's up to you to decide if any of it is worth it uh, to me i think it's a very good alternative to plex uh, because jellyfin although it's free it doesn't have the polish the finishing touches all right so choose carefully and wisely should use mb in 2025 so if you're a privacy conscious person this should uh, be a no-brainer if you're a cord cutter home server enthusiast if you're into casa os docker nas and all of the other stuff test it out even if you're not going to use it for a long term test it and see how that does and also even though I didn't cover it, it does have some parental um, controls. You have multi-user access. I do believe you can set a pin for a, an account and different things like this. So for beginners, Jellyfin is a great and free alternative, but for advanced users, MB Premier delivers the best balance features and control. Now, you see that I put MB Premiere. It's because if you like all the best features, you kind of have to pay for Premiere. So go with MB Premiere uh, if you want to have the best experience. All right, then. Thank you guys for watching. This video took me a few tries to make it happen. And if you stuck around to this time, truly you are the best and thank you again for watching please subscribe share this video help the algorithm find us next time bye 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 bye